Assalamu alaikum dear scholars yesterday we read uh, the first part of the story uh, the open window by by H.H. Munro who is popularly known as Saki yesterday we saw that uh, a person namely Frampton Atal visited a village uh, and precisely we can say the house of Mrs. Appleton where he met a 15 year old lady Vera her name is Vera okay and they had a kind of a, a brief conversation and uh, now uh, we know the Judo Frampton Nuttall he is supposed to meet actually Mrs. Sappleton Jiskaya Makan actually fine so they had a brief conversation and uh, they were talking about the, you know, the Mrs. Appleton and the different things. And finally, uh, they started talking about the window that would always, you know, been, it's always been kept open. Now, and uh, they also strike it, especially the Vera, she strike it. A kind of a thought, especially of the tragedy. I think it's there actually we stopped. And today we are going to find what is the tragedy that happened actually, that occurred to Mrs. Sappleton. Let's read, let's continue the story. Her tragedy, said Asked Frampton, somehow in this restable country spot, tragedy seemed out of place. Now her tragedy... Frampton asked in a very a different tone, in a very doubtful tone. Because Frampton has been sent to this place, as you remember, by his daughter sister, sorry, so that he could find peace for his life. So that he could find soothing for his life. And he has a doubt and he thinks what? Mala, what is 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 it possible that there is there are tragedies too in this place? Even though I have been sent here just to relax myself. And is it possible that there is tragedies too in this place or in this village? Somehow in this restful country spot, tragedy seemed out of place. Because for Frampton, he thought it's a kind of good and kind and restful place. And... Uh, he had never thought about the tragedies. He had never thought about the untoward incidents. Okay, he thought this is a very beautiful and joyful place. Anyway, let's let's continue. You may wonder why we keep that window open on an October afternoon, said the niece, pointing a large window open window that opened onto the lawn. Now the Vera is uh, continuing his conversation. He said, you know, Frampton, you might be wondering, you might be thinking about the window, you know. You might be thinking, you know, in this afternoon, even in October afternoon, why do we, when it is wet, when it is very cold, why do we always keep this window open? You might be thinking about, you know, while pointing at a large window. It's actually a French window. Now, French window is a kind of a window with usually made up of glass and uh, that usually is opening towards the lawn or uh, the garden, okay? You might have seen. It's actually a large window, especially made up of glass. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's quite warm for the time of the year, said Frampton. But has that window got anything to do with the tragedy? Now, Frampton said, uh, but still, it's quite warm today. But, but, uh, but still... Is there anything that this window has to do with the tragedy? Is there any connect connection uh, of the window with the tragedy that has occurred to Mrs. Sappleton? That the questions are rising actually. Now the story begins actually. Out through that window, three years ago on this very day, her husband and her two young brothers went off for their day shooting. They never came back. While crossing the moor to their favorite snipe shooting ground, they were all three drowned in a treacherous piece of a bog. Their bodies never found. That was the dreadful part of it. 
Now Vera had already touched the story. Now she is narrating the incident. She is narrating the tragedy of Mrs. Sapleton. She says that out through that window. Th th this is the window actually. As I told you, this is the large window. It's it's quite. It could be compared to the to the to the to the to the door actually because I told you that it's a very large window made up of glass that usually is usually opening towards the lawn onto the lawn or onto the garden hoti hai. so you could actually go out from this window too anyway you could you, you, you could see the picture actually there is a picture that you could visualize what kind of window this is he says ki it is this window and from this window out through this window you know, three years ago, it's a story, you know, he, he takes Frampton in the past, okay? It was actually three years ago and from out through this window, her husband, whose husband? Mrs. Appleton's husband. Her husband and her two young brothers went off for their day shooting. Now, they were a kind of habitual shooting, uh, you know, Persons actually, they would they, they would they would kill certain kind of a bird or an animal, you know, you know just for the pleasure. As you usually, people do have that kind of habit and a pleasure. Okay, anyway, they do also eat the things. And anyway, he says that it was her husband, Mrs. Appleton's husband, and her two young brothers. Three years ago, they went off. They had gone for a shooting, actually, a day shooting. They never came back. Now, this is the tragedy. Now, her two brothers and her husband, as we know that they had, went off for a shooting, day shooting, but they never came back. While crossing the moor to their favorite snipe shooting ground, they were all three drowned in a treacherous piece of bog. While crossing the moor, now moor is especially... An open area, you know, on the hills actually, uh, covered with the uh, grass, you know, uh, especially in Britain. For example, we have the meadows. You could you could see the you know gulma, you could see the mamnet as you might have you know gone towards. And he says ki while crossing the moor, while they had went on a moor, you know, they were walking through through the moor. When they crossed the moor. To their favorite snipe shooting ground. Now they were very close to the ground where they could shoot snipes. Now snipe is actually a bird uh, uh, with a long straight beak that lives near the 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 the, the rivers or the wet grounds. Okay. Now snipe is a bird with a with a long beak and that usually exists and lives on wet grounds. Now they were gone for the snipe shooting. Okay, fine, but they had never come back. He says ki. Uh, when they crossed the moor, all three drowned in a treacherous piece of bog. Now they drowned in a bog. The bog is a soft, wet ground. Which you can call it dal dal. Now they drowned actually. And we don't know whether they are alive or whether they are dead. But we still, we only know that they never uh, ever return till now. And they drowned in that piece of bog. Treacherous piece of bog. Treacherous means dangerous, you know, especially, you know, something when, when a ground becomes dangerous because of because of the bad weather. OK, fine. Their bodies were never found and their bodies afterwards, they too were never found. That was a dreadful part of it. And this is the dreadful part. This is the this is the dreadful tragedy. This is the this is the, this is what had occurred to uh, Actually, Mrs. Sappleton, she lost uh, very close family members. Okay, fine. Here the child's voice starts shaking. Now, the narrator. The narrator is Vera. Okay, of this tragedy. We see the child. She's, she's a 15 years old child, right? Fine. Now, right now, when she said they drowned in a treacherous bog and they, they were never found, especially their bodies. Now she was kind of a shaking. She shivered, and uh, because she too is frightened while narrating the story. Poor aunt always thinks that they will come back someday. They and the little brown spaniel that was lost with them, and walk in through that window just as they used to. Now he says, "Ki," but afterwards, 
my the, the, the actually mrs appleton she is kind of a, a kind of a different lady you know a waiting lady she has the courage of waiting and she is so much poor not economically but through mind she is very emotional because she is still waiting for for her husband and her young, young true brothers she says she has a feeling she ha- ha- has an expectation she has a belief that they will come back they will return some day and this is the window from which they went out and this will be the window where which they will come inside they will come in so that's why she always keep this window open and she has a belief that they will return because not only not only not only her husband and brothers but is also the brown spaniel now spaniel is a dog that had also went with them and that was also lost with them and and in walking through the window just as they used to and she has a way quite clear belief that as normally as simply they had went out they will come back they will return so she has a very staunch and adamant belief and she is determined for the waiting that's why the window is kept open every evening till it's quite dark that's why vira is saying that that's why mrs appleton and we keep this window open till evening because she always believes that they will return from the same window for their art can you know, a kind of a bad expression that she is very poor because you know we could i think i could we could understand it better this expression this feeling this tragedy the the, the the feeling of the waiting the belief of the waiting because i think uh, our mothers we have we have hundreds of mothers who have lost their sons actually who have you know their sons have been disappeared and or or their husbands have been disappeared and they are but the boy they don't have actually any kind of inclination or any kind of information whether they are dead or whether they are alive so our mothers you know kashmiri mothers they still are waiting for their sons or for their husbands to come so it's the kind of a same feeling and uh, we could say she could be frustrated but she is not actually frustrated she's a, she has a belief because she had not you know she haven't got any info Uh, till now that whether their bodies are found whether they are dead whether they are alive that's why she has a belief if they if they, they they would have been dead and their bodies have been found she might have a different belief she might have a belief that they are dead they won't come back because they she, she also knows that dead dead never comes back but as we know they have they, they have not been found nor nor, nor nor any kind of info has she got whether they are dead or alive that's why she has a belief she has she has developed a kind of a belief like our mothers that they will return one day she has often told me how they went out her husband with his white white proof coat over his shoulders with roni her youngest brother singing bertie why do you bound as he always did to tease her because she said it annoyed her you know sometimes on still quiet evenings like this i almost get a creepy feeling that they will walk all walk in through that window you know he says ki she would mostly mrs appleton the veera is saying uh, these things to the the frampton natal you know we have a different kind of story and he says ki that uh, she would More, more more than often actually she would she would narrate me the same stories mrs sapleton would narrate me the similar kind of stories it's it's how they went out and how they went on the snipe shooting actually and uh, you know with, 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 she has she has still a clear and crystal image a vivid image uh, of her husband and her younger brothers and she still uh, you know, narrates the story how they went out with white waterproof coat over his shoulders and with roni her youngest brother singing bertie why do you bow you know why do you bertie why do you bound especially is an early 20th century uh, very popular english song and here especially if we say 
bound means a jump bound literally means a jump but here it is there is a kind of play of play on words yahan pe uh, bounce hi hum uh, ye bol sakte hain ki uh, something uh, uh, a kind of a, a, a behavior that's unpleasant that's unpleasant so as he always did to tease her because you know she said it annoyed her because she would always tease her uh, the roni actually and because she says ki uh, uh, it always annoyed he always annoyed her actually so it's a kind of a beautiful feeling and a familial thing okay now do you know sometimes on still quiet evenings like this i almost get a creepy feeling that they will walk they will all walk in through that window now veera says you know you know she i how much indoctrination how much belief how much waiting and how much expectation has been developed in this house how much adamant she is how much determined mrs sapleton is how much you know emotional and how much interested she is for the return of the of her of, his, of her family that even sometimes me my me veera even sometimes me get the creepy feeling a feeling of nervousness creepy feeling is a kind of nervous feeling that what kind of feeling she she develops she says ki even sometimes on quiet evenings kabhi kabhi mujhe sham ko raat ke sone ke waqt ab on my bed sometimes i get a creepy feeling i get nervous that they will all walk through in that open window kabhi kabhi mujhe bhi iska wo andaaza hota ki they will walk through inside the house so this kind of creepy feeling even she has being developed by this by the adam uh, by, by the by the by the determination of the, of the mrs appleton by the indoctrination now by the belief hai na oh karan arjun aayenge mere karan arjun aayenge anyway i think this is enough for today we'll continue with the story tomorrow till then